This is my 2011 Toyota Sienna. I bought it for about $11,000 and it had a little over 100,000 miles on it. Um, it cost me about $1,000 for the build and then the decorations were about $500. However, I wanted to mention the insurance was $2,000 for six months. So, sort of cheap in some areas, sort of really not cheap in others. So I wanted to begin with the front seat because that's pretty simple. Um, inside my passenger door, this is just where I keep all my grocery bags. I have two glove boxes. This one is like souvenirs and some masks and sunglasses, practical stuff. Down here, my real glove box. This is just like manuals and boring stuff. Then I have all my window covers i did buy these from WeatherTech. they were either a hundred or two hundred dollars for the whole thing and you can make your own but at that point in the build i was really like trying to hurry things up and i was like honestly i'll pay the big bucks just to not have another project to do so i went ahead and bought those and even though they were expensive like i don't no regrets so far this here is my solar panel um, from Jack Reed. I'll talk more about the electricity when we get to the back. Uh, I have a table to help me cook and just like organize myself if I'm at a campsite. It's real handy to have. This is my sleeping bag. I keep it out instead of in storage because it was kind of expensive and it's just better for the upkeep of the sleeping bag to have it not compressed. And then I have two camping chairs. To, to make it seem like I'm not alone, to make it look like there's two people at the campsite. I have two chairs and it's cool because this one is so small. If I'm closing this area up at night, I can set it right up in here and have a little place to sit besides my bed. It's really handy being solo because I have the whole passenger seat just for storage. So just inside my passenger side door here, um, there was a gap between my floor and the actual floor of the van. So this is just stick on tile that I cut. And then on the edge, I put a stair step just from the hardware store. Then this basket, I got purposely a place for my shoes just because I was like, I know I'll be taking them off as I come in the van and I want to have somewhere to put them away right away instead of just leaving them on the entrance way. So that's been super handy to have. I have a atlas just in case a little, um, just in case I need a paper copy. Under here, I have a blackout curtain, which is really great at blocking out all the light. I sewed Velcro onto this side and then the other side of the Velcro is back here on my TV. So I just stick it up at night um, to block out any light that's coming in. And this here is a TV. It's kind of widescreen, fancy, but the thing is I never get to use it because to have the TV on I have to leave my car running and I'm like, it's just not worth it to be sitting there idling just to watch a movie. And then this, the blackout curtain just folds up and fits right underneath my passenger seat and we're good for the day. Now, if you notice this crack in the floor here, that is probably my biggest mistake of the van build. Originally, I was planning to have that, the part, this part of the floor not here so that this console could slide out. But after I cut this, I realized that originally my plan was to just have the bed come out to here and just be behind the passenger seat alone. But when I realized how skinny that was, I was like, I can't do that. That's not going to be comfortable to sleep. And I would rather have a comfortable place to sleep than have my floor looking perfect. So what happened was I just stained it the, stain the same color as the rest of the van and we built my bed on top of it. and. It doesn't look great, but normally my shoe basket is blocking it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. I also wanted to mention my bed. It's just real simple, made out of two by fours and plywood that we stained. 
I put some burlap here to hide the under the bed storage and I think it kind of adds to the look. Now this mattress is just a foam cot size mattress and most of the bedding I already had so I just put that in place and I was set to go on my bed. So once we come inside a little more, um, I wanted to show you all my ceiling. This is probably one of my favorite parts. I've had this tapestry for years and it's been with me all across the country when I lived in Australia for a little bit. Um, it's just really sentimental to me so I'm really glad I found a place for it in the van. Plus it makes it look a little more homey than looking like a, a normal minivan. So I love it. I also have this little fan that is perfect for hot nights. It just charges a reusable battery and I'm good to go. Also, I wanted to show you all my tea towel here. So with traveling across the US, I've decided to try to collect towels because they're foldable, they're useful, and it's something you can find in some gift shops. So, so far this is my first one from my time in Minnesota. If you watched my series about hiking the Superior Hiking Trail, you know I was there for kind of a long time, so I definitely wanted to get one from up there. And this is my little plant. Um, because it's a, what's it called, a succulent, it's super easy to take care of. And I velcroed it down so while I'm driving it doesn't move all around. Also this lantern is also rechargeable. It's not super bright and that's one of the things I want to upgrade soon is having better lighting for when I'm hanging out in the van at night. But it is really fun, rechargeable, and I just move it around to wherever I need it when I'm hanging out in the van at night. All right, so when we come in a little further, I wanted to show y'all this thing. I call it my kitchen because it holds all of that. I made the decision to not have a sink because it seemed really complicated. Um, just buying all the pumps and stuff for it, cutting out the hole. I didn't want to bother with that, and so far it hasn't been a problem. I've just, I have a milk jug full of water, and I go outside pour it on my toothbrush or in a cup or whatever and it's been a-okay no problem not having a sink this thing is really simple i bought these curtains so i bought this fabric i sewed it myself into curtains with a matching pillow and it's convenient because it i put velcro on the back of it so if i want to get these out of my way i can if i want to to leave it to be a little more decorative I can do that too and I'm not going to go into too much detail because I already have another video about this exact structure but this is basically where I store stuff really handy this stuff I just found um, it's called shelf liner and it keeps things from sliding around so that's definitely one of the handiest things to have this is a fold out toilet. I've never used it. I don't think I will. Um, just because like that's gross. Who wants to clean that? And this is my pop out basin that I use as a sink. Really handy to wash dishes, brush my teeth if I can't. If I'm like in a parking lot and I don't want anyone to know that I'm inside my car. I just want it to look empty and I don't want to get in and out. This has been really handy to brush my teeth without having to step outside. And that is the kitchen. Alrighty, so last but not least, the trunk is one of my favorite parts. I have this electrical stuff where I can plug in my fridge if I'm moving. However, I did want to mention that my electrical system isn't really that great. Um, I have my solar panel that I showed you in the front with the littlest jackery. And it's just not enough to charge up my... Alpicool T36. I bought it purposely because oh, <laughs> a lot of old beer in here. Pro bought it because it had the freezer section and the refrigerator section and I really want to have both so I can have more healthy food and not just be eating 
pasta every night, but it does pull a whole lot of electricity. So my next move with this van, my next upgrade is going to be to have mounted solar panels on the ceiling with hopefully some sort of cord coming through here so I can always keep this plugged in. I do put this old rug on it because I think it, it just looks a little nicer and it um, helps keep it insulated because it does definitely produce um, coolness around it so I want to keep it as close to it as possible. Also back here I have my stove, little bottle opener, and one of my favorite parts is the fact that I have this piece of floor that I can lift up, grab a hat, grab warm socks or whatever. There's that. And if I'm staying at a campsite, I can move my fridge. And I have another trap door that opens up for even more storage. If you're interested in this floor, I have a whole nother video about that, that I will link to this one. But this is probably, probably my favorite part because I can sit back here, have a beer, enjoy nature. So thank you all so much for watching my van tour. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a little bit, you know I originally bought this van so I could road trip to all 50 states. Um, well, obviously I'm not driving to Hawaii, but uh, you get what I mean. And my goal for each of the 50 states is to go on an outdoor adventure and drink a local beer. So if you're into that, please subscribe to join the journey. And thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.